Eugenia Cooney. She's apparently getting a lot of attention on YouTube right now because uh, she is in the late stages of her fucking eating disorder. And I would just like to show you what she looks like. Wanna film as my next video yet? I think I'm gonna try to hopefully film something tomorrow though. So yeah, so I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow or not. I might still try to, we'll see. So her story is kind of interesting. She was normal or like thin, um, you know, like already kind of eating disorder, but not skelly mode. And then she got like called out. Then she like, did become anorexic, like super hard. And then uh, she got a lot of, a lot of attention by people like Keemstar about her, her weight. And then she, um, Gained some of it back. She was looking like she was on the right track for a bit. Keemstar hailed this as like his good deed. And then she's gone even worse. She is like properly flopped. And I kind of want to stress that if anyone is to ever beat a. Uh, look, this person tried to make this a short by using the short hashtag, but it's in 19 or 16 by 9 instead of 9 by 16, which is necessary. That's funny. I just noticed that um, if someone's going to beat addiction, they have to win it for themselves. You can't like cyber bully people into taking care of themselves. Fat. <laughs> Being nice. Be nice. It's not trying to kill people. Um, and then there's this. See, there's one thing about Eugenia Cooney that was revealed to me that I find interesting. And, um, I think it really is important to to highlight why she does this. I'm sure she genuinely has an eating disorder. I don't think you could do this to yourself unless you had the underlying issue. But she is highly motivated to continue this eating disorder because it's her main source of money. Obviously, she gets attention and, you know, and from all those people who are, oh, I'm so concerned about Eugenia Cooney. Why is Twitch allowing this? And so on and so forth. But the money is not just from that. It's a fetish. Um, this is her one of her latest videos. She's going bowling. So you can see she's in skelly mode. She's cut off her head so you can focus on her body. Uh, one, so of the, one of the weirdest things to know about Eugenia is that her filming is done not by like her boyfriend or whatever. It's done by her mother. Uh, her mother is featured prominently in this. This is her real mother. And she is the one who basically does all her filming that's not done by Eugenia herself or by like a fixed camera. So her mom is like actively enabling all this. And in some videos, she said that Eugenia is perfectly fine and she has no concerns whatsoever with her weight. So I, I don't know what the fuck her dynamic is with her mother. She's done lots of her mother. Now, with that in mind, it's worth pointing out that her mother has like there. There are shots of her that people have pointed out where she's walking upstairs. Her mother is behind her filming her. And her mother films upskirt shots of like her panties and like her skeleton thighs and, and, and buttocks from the lower position. And it's like, does she not know what she's doing? Is this intentional? Is she in on this? But it is a, it is a fetish and I'll show you why. Um, so we'll see her bowl just a little bit. She's got her ball. She probably has a six pound ball. I think that's the, the lightest that they give out for kids. She doesn't have bumpers up. That's important. You, somebody goes to a bowling alley for the first time. What are you going to tell them? Make sure the bumpers are up so that you can practice and you won't be totally, you know, disheartened by hitting gutter, you know, gutter balls every time and scoring literally zero. Put the gutters up. But she doesn't do that. She decides to bowl. Um, without the gutter so that she'll look as pathetic as possible. She goes she rolls the ball out by just dropping it and it goes straight into the gutter. And this is the entire video. She does this over and over again. Her mom hits some pins. She doesn't. And then she goes, oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm, uh, I just can't throw the ball. Oh, oomphy, 
Oomph, the ball doesn't go down the... And then it goes straight into the gutter. Oh, I'm so shit. I'm so retarded and shit and weak. Oh, oomphy doodles. And that is the fetish. In all of her videos, it revolves around Eugenia doing something that involves some, like, physical activity over and over again that she is incapable of doing or puts on the facade of being incapable of doing because of her her malnutrition so one of them she pushed a box she was pushing around the box for some reason she moved it to one side then she's like oh i'm so tired from that heavy box and then she pushed it again to a different side of the room it's like oh man oh, i'm so tired and she did this like three or four fucking times and it's just like this is a fetish this is a holocaust fetish um, this is for men who are, for whatever reason, attracted to people who are like so anorexic that they are unable to take care of themselves. And I actually think it's the exact opposite s side of like whale hunters who are like, because they want fat people who are so fat that they can't take care of themselves. So they're like beholden to uh, their whim. This is like the opposite of that, where it's like you have someone who's thin but so fucked up that they can't do basic basic things or take care of themselves. And it's, it's very weird. That, that revelation kind of ruins it, kind of spoils the, the interest. But it is, uh, I think that her mom's participation in it is the worst thing. By the way, one of the other funny things about this is, number one, okay, let me, uh, as an aside, I don't know. What the fuck the deal is with the giant ass televisions, but at some point they're trying to get the balls out of the dispenser and there's fucking advertisements on the controls. So you're, you pay for a bowling alley. You're in there. They have 27 massive TV screens on, and then they have ad space by the ball controls. Fuck you. If it, oh my god, I can't move back to the U.S. because I know they put advertisements on fucking gas pumps now. I would take a hammer and smash that shit every fucking time I saw one. You're going to put ad space in front of me while I'm bowling, motherfucker? I'm trying to get away from the advertisements. I'm not on the internet again. And you're putting this shit in front of me. And, I, and then there's the, the gas pumps. You can't even fill up your fucking gas tank with an ad and smash that shit. Spray paint over it. Roundhouse kick it into the fucking concrete. For real. For real. In Minecraft. As we'll see. Um, this was a tribute that someone asked that I play. Swing low. Sweet chill. To carry me Children are dying every day from hunger and sickness. Innocent children, just like this one. I think that's actually Isaacs. These children are facing death right now. But with your support and just 50 cents a day, we can save them. Um, in case you're wondering, in case you're new, uh, this is Ashley Isaacs. She is the premier, foremost skelly queen, also known as the Lich Queen. And my inside joke is that Ashley Isaacs has been in this state of utter decay for like over a decade now. Nobody knows how she's not dead. From what we understand, she takes a strict regimen of multivitamins and eats like an apple a day. And that's it. And she's managed to stay together. She cannot walk. Like, I think her hair is falling out. She's just 
basically dead. She's just not going to wake up one day because how, how she doesn't eat. But uh, because she's lasted so long in this condition, we say that she's a lich queen. She's 3,000 years old. She was she she was born in ancient Egypt and made a, a cursed deal with um, with Anubis for eternal life. But in exchange, she has to trick young girls into becoming anorexic. And for every year that she steals off somebody else's life by having them become anorexic, by being their thin spo, uh, she gains that in her immortal her, her mortal timeline her never-ending treadmill of years so that's what that's a reference to very good thank you thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe